All right, here's a quick rock, walk around on my bike. I just got a new seat from uh, Etsy. Just go to Etsy, type in Super 73 and you'll see it. It's the only one with a white stripe on it. And I got studded tires. These are the all-terrain tires from Super 73 on their website. And I got rid of the um, mirror that I had by Hafni because it's a piece of crap and it broke. The little clamp that clamps it to the bike freaking broke. So what a piece of junk. And um, I now have this new phone holder, which is really sturdy and really easy to put a phone in with one hand. You can just kind of take your phone and literally just do this. And it's really freaking secure. Um, and that's by a company called Delta. And uh, you can see on the back, it's got uh, adjustability and all that. So pretty cool. Anyway, um, that's it for now. I also have a Blackburn bag that I kind of re I, I, I put in a different way. I used to have it on this front bar, but now I have it on this vertical bar and it just seems to fit better. And um, I got a bottle uh, holder, a bottle cage holder. That's black and it looks pretty cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> a lot to talk about on this video. <clears throat> so first things first, see this rock right here? On the freaking right, uh, I freaking ran into it with my bike, and I screwed up my pedals. So now one of my pedals is off center, and it really sucks. But that is what it is. Secondly, um, as I said in my intro, the mirror that I had, the Hafni H A F N Y mirror, which everybody recommends, uh, after taking it on and off twice, because I had to flip my bike upside down to put on the new seat, it freaking broke like a piece of crap. The clamp that holds it onto the the, the frame of the bike freaking broke so piece of crap it's going back and um, these studded tires which I just got all-terrain tires from Super 73 are like beyond badass they freaking change everything they're really comfortable on the street I mean maybe you know not quite as comfortable as the ones that come with the bike because they're a little knobby but man do they have freaking grip you can go anywhere you don't fall you can go around turns, you can go in grass, you can go in dirt. It's just so much better. So I'm gonna actually take it to a couple places that I did uh, on my all-terrain test um, video, like a couple videos ago. Check that out. And you'll see that I had my stock tires and I did some grass and some other tests on those. So with this one, you'll be able to see, I'm gonna start in the grass and you'll be, I kind of talked about how it was kind of squirrely with the uh, all-terrain, with the regular tires. But with these tires, man, you'll see. First of all, takes off a lot faster, it kind of has more pull, and you just have a lot more stability. It's not squirrely, you know? And uh, I don't know, it feels a lot more stable. I really like it. And um, as far as dirt goes, um, I'll take that, I'll, I'll go into the dirt in a minute, but I just going around this, this path here at this park, which has got a little bit of loose dirt, it just has so much more stability, you know? Go around these turns, like no problem. Originally I go around these turns and I feel like I was gonna fall, you know? I don't feel like I'm gonna fall anymore. I can take these turns pretty fast. And no problem, you know? So anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, here it is in some bark. I mean, just flies through the bark. We've got tons of carving capabilities, you know? like totally different feel watch how fast i can fly through this freaking grass look at this shit like unbelievable i'm literally flying through this grass at like 27 28 28 miles an hour like crazy i would never have done that on my stock tires i would have felt like i was gonna fall and i don't think i could get that fast so <clears throat> there's that um i will do a full terrain test like I did like a couple videos ago on the street tires, I will, on the regular tires, I will do a full terrain test with these new tires. But I just wanted to kind of share a little bit, you know, kind of in real time here, uh, cause I just got them. Just my, my overall impressions, I really, really, really like them. I feel like I have a lot more stability. It actually looks pretty cool. It looks more like a dirt bike. Um, and I actually went to my local bike shop and they put them on for 40 bucks. 
and I used the new inner tubes that I got from Super 73 and I actually put in some Mr. Tuffy tire liners too. So hopefully I never have any problems with, uh, you know, flats, knock on wood. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a little bit about the, um, <clears throat> the tires. Also, you see in uh, the intro of the video, the new seat, the seat is so much more comfortable. I mean, I don't have a big butt, I'm just a normal guy. But man, that, uh, that original seat that comes with the bike, this is too narrow. The big bump in the back isn't even really sittable because it's just too awkward. And so you're really only using two thirds of the seat anyway. And it's not wide enough and it hurts your butt. This one, you feel like you're on a freaking motorcycle. It's just like so much more comfort. And, um, you know, just, you just feel like you've got, you know, more stability under you, you know? And it just handles, tur it handles bumps and stuff so much better, you don't feel it. You know, and your butt's not half off the freaking seat when you're making turns and stuff. So overall, love the freaking seat. This, um, this bike phone, or this phone holder, I buy a company called Delta, doesn't freaking move. I mean, the, the phone does not move. You know, here I am going 25 miles an hour through the dirt, I mean, through the grass and there's bumps and stuff. The phone doesn't move. And it's not obscured in your way. In your way. I used to have another phone uh, holder and it was just like, too intrusive it just like stood out like right here and it came out too far and it was just kind of like impeding my videos and it just impeded my vision even so this one sits nice right on your handlebar crossbar and doesn't move and it's adjustable up and down and I just freaking love it so very happy about that and the last thing I'll mention is the freaking pedal that I screwed up so the pedal arm that attaches to the crank bent inward and so now my pedal is not like perpendicular to my bike it's like at a 10 degree off angle and so now when i pedal it's kind of like you know wobbly and it just kind of screwed up everything so i gotta i guess get a new crank or a new you know pedal arm uh not very happy about that but at least it rides i can still pedal you know i'm just trying to enjoy my new tires my new seat and my new bike uh, mount so or phone mount so i'm not really worried about that right now but anyhow, overall, all good. Still loving this thing. Still get, you know, heads turned everywhere I go. Freaking enjoying it. Oh, I got a comment from a guy yesterday. Forgive me, I don't recall your, your username. And he said that my camera picks it, my mic on my camera picks up everything. And he loves the sound of the acceleration. And he said it's like audio porn. I've never heard that before, but huge thumbs up for that kind of a comment. I mean, wow. I never thought of myself as a porn star, but hey, I'll take it, you know? Uh, anyway, glad I could satisfy, uh, you know, and entertain uh, to the nth degree. So anyway, that's it for now. Another video coming up in the next couple days will be an all-terrain test on the new tires. That'll be a good comparison with the uh, other video that I did the other day on the regular tires. And uh, that's it. Peace out. God bless. I'd be grateful if you could subscribe if you haven't. My subscribers are going up. And that's looking really freaking good. And uh, to you haters out there that think that I ride like, a, like, a, like an idiot, really appreciate your introspective comments. It really helps me become a better person. And um, just couldn't be more thankful for your comments. Um, anyway, even when you give me crap-ass comments like that, it still helps my channel. So... Peace out. Love y'all.